This is Anthony Woods with International Futures Group in Chicago, a division of EFG Group with today's market review. Today's date is June the 3rd. Uh, the dollar index had a reversal this morning, uh, started up about 40. Right now it's down 40 on the day. Uh, the euro is the big winner in the currencies, though, up over 100 today. Uh, Energy is down across the board, crude down 160. Uh, the net gas down 6.5. Uh, heat and oil and unleaded also lower on the day. Uh, the softs were rather mixed. Cotton had a decent rally today, up 160 in, in the July contract, but I still think the real play in cotton is probably in the new crop or the D's contract, which is up about 125 on the day. Uh, coffee also higher on the day, having a decent rally this week. From a technical aspect, coffee looks like it actually might move higher. Uh, fundamentally, I don't know, some of those numbers out of Brazil are still kind of kind of sketchy and kind of bearish lately anyway, but uh, people are still talking about a weather premium being put in that market. Cocoa also having another big week up, up 60 today, followed through a little bit today, up 13. Uh, metals down across the board, kind of surprising after the dollar reversed itself. Gold down $9, silver down 31 cents. Uh, the meat's also down across the board. Both June cattle and hogs down 80 on the day. Uh, the grains, wheat was up fifth or was higher on the day, but finished down a few cents on the day. Finished 16 off the high, no follow through on that market today. After a big rally in beans yesterday, also beans down a couple cents. Um, I still think that's probably negative for beans, even though I have to admit the chart looks maybe a little friendly. Uh, corn up slightly in the day, up a cent on the day. As far as certain strategies in the grains right now, I still like being long corn, short beans. I started selling puts in corn. I don't know if you're going to have a big rally in it. I think at some point within the next month or so, they put some sort of weather premium in it. So kind of like selling the puts as opposed to just being flat out long looking for a rally, I guess you'd say. Uh, you can probably do that in the wheat markets also, but wheat's a little more volatile than corn at this time frame. So a little bit more risky selling wheat puts as opposed to as opposed to doing it in the corn market. Um, that's today's market review. Thank you for watching.